and welcome to another day. We're back out here at the house. That's what we've been doing pretty much every day here lately and there's no place I would rather be. Y'all back when it was a waiting game and there wasn't anything going on, I was like, I'm ready for that day where there's a lot that I need to get done and we're there, <laughs> we're there. Today we're out here because, well, for a couple of reasons. The biggest being the gentleman is out here redoing the perk test. And I could just brush over this and not share it, act like it never happened, but I feel like I'd be doing somebody a disservice that could hear this information and benefit from it. Maybe you're gonna build a home or you're gonna get a mobile home, you've gotta do something with a septic tank. Maybe you just wanna hear our saga. <laughs> and if you've been around here for a little while, then you know some of it. When the perk test was originally done, I didn't realize he was coming out that day. And as a matter of fact, I was sitting at the dentist with the kids when he called. And so I wasn't really ready. <laughs> I hadn't really had time to think about it and research it and figure out what was going on. Because this is a learning experience. All of it has been. And I'm having to remind myself of that. <laughs> this is a little bit of um, an expensive learning experience. But learning nevertheless. So I was sitting at the dentist with the kids and he called and was asking where we wanted the perk test done. And used to it would be, if, if I'm not mistaken, at least for the area that we're in, when you had a perk test done on an acre of land, it was for the entire acre. Well, it's not that way anymore. Kids coming in the house. It's not that way anymore and I understand why. He was really good about explaining it all to me today and I, and I understand a lot better. But after that first perk test was done, we had to come out and kind of reevaluate where we wanted to put the pad for the home based on where that septic tank was going to have to go. And we were either going to have we were either going to have to push it back or move it forward, meaning the home. And when you're wanting to have a homestead on a little bit of land and you need space for chickens and goats and gardens and coops and sheds and all those things, every inch counts. And we want to do most of that in the backyard. I'm seeing here looking out the, the back window. So that meant moving the house forward and that was going to put the septic tank on the back corner with the fill lines that we needed. They were going to run all the way across the back of the house. And we were going to have to get creative in where we put our back patio, where we put our driveway and our parking space because we wanted to come in the back door. And anytime we wanted to do anything in the backyard, uh, driving things in the backyard or running lines in the backyard, putting up structures in the backyard, we were going to have to deal with that septic tank and those fill lines. So we just stopped it all and was like, look, we've tried to make it work and it's just, it's not working. So I'm going to call him, I'm going to get him to come back out and we're going to do it for the front yard. So that's what he's here doing today. The septic tank's going to go on the front of the house. The fill lines are going to be on the front of the house. And when I was talking to him, he actually said it's going to work out much better because the dirt is better in the front of the house, the amount of fill lines that we need and how deep they have to be, how deep the septic tank has to be, all of those things is going to work out better in the front of the house. So it was meant to be. It's been frustrating and I tried and I tried and I tried to make it work like it was and I just couldn't do it. And now I know why. God was saying, put the septic tank in the front yard, Tiffany. <laughs> so that's what we're doing and he's out here doing that perk test so I can go through and fill out uh, or he'll fill out the application. I'll take it to the health department. We'll go through that process again, get what we need, and then finally have a septic tank installed. I'm also here today to take some blue painter's tape and mark anything that I see that needs to be fixed, repaired, and whatnot from them moving the home, building the home, those kinds of things. A couple of cabinets that's scratched, um, a piece of wood that's busted, just some things like that, paint drips, nail holes. My friend Amanda over at From His Bountiful Blessings, she was like, take you some blue painter's tape over there and mark everything. That way they can see it easy. Brilliant. <laughs> why, did, why did I think of that? Thank you, Amanda, for sharing that with me. She's been going through a home remodel. So she's I'm sure she's got lots of tips so she can share with me. So that's what I'm also doing while I'm here today. Perk test is going to get done. We're going to get that process up and going again. And we're going to mark everything in here. I'll, I've already written out a list room by room and sent it to them. Uh, but that'll just make it easier for them to see when they come over here. These kids are just laying out <laughs> in the living room. It's just nice to be here, isn't it? When we came over here this past weekend, we just all sat in the living room for like an hour. Doing nothing but just sitting there. Just, just hanging out <laughs> in, our, in our house. I stuck the tape in this drawer here when I was over here yesterday, so 
get to work. I can't decide if this boy is going to crawl or if he's just going to go straight to walking. He likes to pull up and hold your fingers and move his little feet. He has started getting on his knees every now and again. Can you come to Mama? Come over here to Mama. Come to me. <laughs> there you go. Keep going. Come on. Come on. You got to move. Oh. There you go. Come on. Oh, you're doing so good. Oh, oh it's, kind of it's hard, is it? Come on. There you it's go. hard work. There you go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come here. You're so close, buddy. Oh, I'm so mama. You're so close. There you go. Oh, reach. <laughs> <laughs> now do the other one. There you go. Now do the other one. There. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, hard work for such a little baby. Yeah, a little baby. <laughs> what, hey? I saw a cloud that looks like Santa's hat. A cloud that looks like Santa's hat. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road Where mama and papa used to go Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore Well let me run through the breeze like the leaves on I'm Tiffany, by the way, if you're new, and this is Wyatt, and just in case you are coming across our channel for the first time, there's going to be a playlist down in the description box titled Moving Vlogs, so you can get all caught up on everything that's been going on. We recently bought this uh, double wide mobile home, put it here on this little bit of land to turn it into our own one acre homestead. We've got big plans for it, and we're sharing it all here on this channel. So I just want to introduce myself in case you were finding us for the first time. Mommy got to get her shoes on. Let me fly like the leaves when they fall. It is a beautiful day today. It is so warm. So warm and nice. We're getting out to go in and get some lunch, and it hit me that I forgot to put our supper in the crock pot. I guess I'll be cooking that on high. Whenever we get back home, we're going to do crock pot potato soup tonight. And I forgot to put it in the crock pot in my rush to kind of get out of the house this morning. Well, take me home to rest where the mockingbirds nest. We're going to get the soup going in the crock pot. Like I said, we're starting a little bit later in the afternoon, but it'll be all right. I will link the recipe down in the description box. That's what I usually use when I make my potato soup. So that'll be down in the description box. I'm going to go ahead and get everything in the crock pot. I'll be back with you in just a second. 
my brow And the glow of the fire pulled me home Let me wind down my days In the sweet dusty haze Take me back down the old dirt road Oh, take me back down the old dirt road up that bacon and made some bacon bits to add in and you'll see I also add a little bit of the bacon grease as well. About 20 to 30 minutes before the soup is done and we're ready to serve it, I'm going to add in this block of cream cheese just to give it enough time to melt into the soup. We served it with some shredded cheese and chives on top and it was a delicious meal. We love you guys. We appreciate you and we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.